Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby, if you have not been here before. And I'm Owen. <laughs> and we are Highly Horrified Reactions. What are we watching today? Today we're watching A Dance with the Devil. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> Something with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil. <laughs> This is the joy of watching movies with Owen, is that we can watch something and like a day, like not even a day later, he'll forget the whole thing. <laughs> he will forget the whole entire plot of the movie, characters. A very sh short memory. Uh, it's like the best thing though, because he can just watch movies all the time and like still feel like he's watching them for the first time again, which is something I wish like I still had, but yes. Late Night with the Devil. It like just came out, but I've heard really good things about it. The main guy in it, David Desmalchian. I I will always remember his small part in The Dark Knight. Like, that's something that stuck with me forever because that's one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm excited to see him in this leading role. I like the older, it, was, it looks like it's 60s mm. or 70s. I think it's 70s, or, 77, okay. it said. Happy 420. <laughs> yeah, happy holidays today. We are recording this on 420. Snacking on that, the mochi donuts. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. America, the 1970s. Night of terror. A time of fear and violence. Was that, was that uh, Charles Manson? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was turning on the subtitles. It probably was though. April 4th, 1971. The first episode of UBC's Night Owls goes Night to Night Owls. I love the colors and the, <laughs> like everything. I'm your host, Jack Delroy, and Thank you for allowing me into your living rooms for the first of what I hope will be many, many shows. <laughs> oh, he's so good already. Like, he really hasn't gotten the recognition that he's deserved, so I'm excited for that's cool. him for this. No, that's cool. In November 1972, Jack inks a five-year deal with Thank UBC you. owner so Walker much. Bedford. Jack's sights are set on the coveted late-night crown. Okay, so they're referencing Johnny Carson, who was okay. like a, a popular like late-night show host at the time. Like in the 70s? Mm -hmm. Okay. Madeline is his muse and his confidant, but she is not his only source of support. Jack's association with The Grove, a men-only club located in the Redwoods of California. I've heard of The Grove before. Politicians, entertainers, and captains of industry. Yeah, like that's like some like real thing. Then, in September 1976. She died. Madeline, a non-smoker, is diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Dang. In October, Madeline makes a special appearance on the show. Gosh. That sucks. So how long have they known each other or been married? It is the highest rating episode in Night Owl's history, but still falls a point short of Carson. Uh, he's so creepy without trying to be creepy. Two weeks later, Madeline is dead. A grieving Jack shuns the media, his location unknown. Just one month later, UBC announces his return. Hmm. It said one week later. I thought it said three months. No, I swear it said one week later he returned. Jack's contract is set to expire. So he has to do something crazy, something no one's ever done before. A desperate Jack plans an episode he hopes will turn his fortunes around. I mean, it makes sense, like, after, you know, his wife passed away, he's struggling with doing his, you know. I mean, yeah. Doing his job. Like, that's how it should be. You should be taking time off. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Leo, he's not, uh... Oh, 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 Jesus, Mary and Joseph! <laughs> Jesus, Mary, just... <laughs> Think they planned that? No. No. We've got an incredible show lined up for you tonight. That's not music, Gus. That is actually the sound you get when you're tuning your car radio searching for music. <laughs> 70s jokes. All these, like, cheesy, very, very it is, it's that, jokes. It's that, like, talk show stuff. Yeah. Like, those cheesy jokes. Especially at this time, I feel like it was... This was stated. Like, the they art. know what they're doing, yeah. Any... Reggie Jackson fans in here. Knew she was. Now, what? <laughs> Reggie Jackson. Knew she was. So President Carter held a press conference today when asked if his brother Billy was part of the plans that he'd offered Billy a chance to head the FBI or the CIA. Billy said he refused to head any agency that he couldn't spell. Wasn't around for Jimmy Carter. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was a ha you had to be there thing. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's sweep, sweep. Whoa. <laughs> this show is, and it always has been, for you. Is this, like, 
I love that we're getting that, like, fourth wall thing, too, where he's, like, talking to us for like, yeah. the viewers at home. Right. I'm just transported back to the 70s. Our first guest tonight, I am so excited about this young man. Some call him a medium. Okay. It's the mononymous Chris Du. <laughs> Chris Du. The entrance. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So it is just... I love his jacket. Chris too. Just think of my mind like the ham radio. Picking up frequencies in the airwaves. They did such a good job of making it look old, too. Yeah. I, 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 I can feel, I like, the newer aspect to it, but no, they did a very good job. Yeah. I know, I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris do. The furniture, the background, their outfits. <sighs> I'm hearing the name Peterson. What? I'm sorry. Uh, my wife's maiden name was Peterman. <laughs> no. No. Your wife has crossed over, see? Could say that. She ran off with my neighbor five years ago. No. I'm no. Sorry to hear that. Oh, oh, don't be. My golf game's never been better. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my name's Barry. That's not it. No, it has been for 42 years. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's getting angry. Like you went on a shopping spree with Gus down at uh, Barney's Discount oh. Costume oh, Warehouse. Yeah, that's that's, that's freaky. Yeah, costume. that's you. I'm getting a. Oh yes. This I cannot believe this guy. <laughs> Eddie, he was a son or brother for one of you. See, Edmund was my little brother. Something bad happened to Edmund. It may be that Edmund took his own life five years ago. Mm. Okay. Okay, Christo. He was such a happy boy. None of us knew he was in so much pain. All right, now I'm starting to believe him. Now I'm hitting the word Papa. When Edmund was little, he had a teddy named Papa. Mm. Okay. All right, yeah, now I believe him. That was real. One of the old friends of our show. Who are we? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What if it's like his wife or something? Minnie! Does anyone here know a mini? Please accept. I see an unmarried man with a wedding ring. The spirit needs to talk to you. Oh, my gosh. oh no. shoot! She's gone. Even if they played that, they did that so so well. Yeah, literally. What was his wife's name? I can't remember now. I know. That guy in that skeleton. I know. Was so creepy though. And it focused in on him again, like. Obviously, there's something there. Oh boy, that bit with the lights was your idea, wasn't it? If you liked it, yeah, I'll take full credit. Mm -hmm. What'd you think about our friend Barry? Barry was a plant. The guy that was like talking about his wife and stuff. Um, they put him there to like okay. banter with him or whatever. Okay. How's my hair looking? All right. You look great. Good. Chris Dew is flabbergasted. He's not okay. Yeah, no. And he just thinks that they were doing that backstage, messing with the lights and stuff. Mr. Carmichael Hay. <laughs> Mind if I smoke? Please be my guest. Oh boy, that was good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even care if there's tricks to magic. I still think it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it is cool. It is cool. It's all an optical illusion. There is some crazy stuff though, where you're like, how? How'd they do it? I mean, many regarded you as the best in the biz, and I know my saying that won't embarrass you. Correct. On all counts. Continue, dear friend. This guy. <laughs> yes, it is our mission to test these claims. Oh, oh, that's me about to embark. <laughs> no. <laughs> and Amityville. Ed and Lorraine, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Warren. Those are the people the Conjuring's based off of. Okay. Okay. I'm the first to admit the world would be a more interesting place if people could talk to the dead. What was that? Hmm. He like, he like, I don't know, the way he said it was like kind of smirkish. That's how I was like... We offer a not insubstantial reward for anyone whose claims can be verified. 100 grand. In the 70s, too? That was even more money. <laughs> 100,000 was like a million. Yeah, literally. You, sir, like me, are a liar. A cheat. Damn. Oh, okay. Still have to ask you something, please. We have like, not letting him go. I actually believe that that last reading may have been meant for me. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Minnie is the private nickname for... Private? Madeline. Madeline. My wife. An unmarried man... Bring a wedding ring? I think you meant this. Okay. And Madeline's death was hardly a secret. Oh, gosh. It is a statistical certainty that some fool will take the bait. Look at Chris do. Let's see if the mad monk really can conjure up the spirit of your dead wife. Oh, God. Half a million dollars should be incentive enough? No. But either. 
Oh. What? It's like it's How like black sludge. That? It's Evil Dead. Something's not right. Oh gosh. Uh, so is anyone here from out of town? This was a gift from Charles Lawton. <laughs> the guy raised his hand. No one's thinking about how there's black goo. You play the aw shucks Midwesterner so well, Jack. That bit about Madeline and your secret- The aw shucks Midwesterner. Wasn't a bit. I think that I told them. I wouldn't blame you if you did. A little on-air drama can't be bad for ratings, right? But why would Minnie's presence be that, like- that It was crazy. like evil. It was like yeah. an evil presence yeah. compared to the little boy Edmund or whatever. So did he do something to her or something? That's what I'm- yeah. I think that's a good assumption. She's like angry. The switchboard lit up like a Rosenberg, though. Could have like made a deal to like, get more fame than Johnny Carson or something. This old time, you know, just reminds me of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Now, about a... That's not good. Was that for Chris Stu? Chris Stu. Conversations with the Devil. I wanted to share with you all a clip produced by June's Psy Research Center. First Church of Abraxas. I bestow these blessings of hell. Hail Abraxas! The Master demands sacrifice. Even more alarming are the stories of children being bred for human sacrifice. What? It is giving Rosemary's baby. Mm, 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 mm. And so No. After a tense three day standoff, Diablo commands his followers to douse the premises and themselves in gasoline. A terrified ten mm. She goes only by the name of Lily. Her memories of her time in the house, fractured and incomplete. And now we use her for monetary gain. Yeah. Dr. June Ross Mitchell and Lily. Hi. Ah. <laughs> oh, like what? <laughs> Whoa. Quite a grip. Ah. Yeah. So pleased that you could join us today. Thank you, Mr. Delroy. I'm so glad you could join us too. Uh, Ew. Uh. Have you ever watched my show before? No, but I know who you are, Mr. Delroy. <laughs> June says you're very handsome, Jack. You're the man whose wife died of cancer. Shoot. Lily has been through more in her 13 years than most adults go through in a lifetime. And you needn't worry about your TV show. I think you're going to be very famous soon. <laughs> soon. Yes. Other side. She's We're just looking right at the camera. Yeah, Look so at everybody else, not even paying attention. <laughs> but I know who you are, Mr. Delroy. Hey, Jack. Don't I already look pretty, Jack? Oh. What? His wife is dead. Like, she has to somehow be involved. She has to be. Oh, they have some sort of. Yeah, something's going on. Just got a call from Sinai. Christo is dead. What? He had some kind of hemorrhage in the ambulance. What? You call yourself a parapsychologist. Is I call that... myself one because that's what I am. It so happens I have a PhD in the subject. From the University of Hogwash, if I'm not mistaken. This guy makes me angry. Big, new, scientific ideas are always greeted with some resistance. It's only the most close-minded that greet them with ridicule. We have some pieces here from your private collection. Okay. She got him. Oh, well, that's from the videos. Yeah. If we accept the Gnostic interpretation, Abraxas is the consummate showman. After all, his name is the source of the magician's favorite incantation. Abracadabra. Mm hmm I didn't know that. You have a name for this thing that lives inside of you. I call him Mr. Riggles. Mr. Riggles? June says that everyone has a demon inside them, but we can't always control them, can we? Do you see the do you yeah. see the skeleton in the crowd? No, the no. guy with the skeleton what mask it looked like he was like smiling almost. It was feeding back through your PA system. He just has an explanation for everything. Right. He's wrong, you know. It was Mr. Riggles. Do you mean that Mr. Riggles is here in the studio with us? Mm -hmm. Oh no, Mr. Riggles. You gonna do something to Mr. Haig? Hey, if we invited him on the show. Jack, I thought I made it clear. I think so. No, I can't allow that. June, please. Come on, June. I want to show them. The people have spoken. Yeah, let's see it, girl. Let's see Mr. Riggles. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. Not before a word from our sponsors. Commune with the devil. But first, we gotta go to our sponsors. No. She's like, 
I can't wait. All these wait. people are gonna die. <laughs> this is your chance to prove people like him wrong. This is your moment, June. Did you hear anything I said back there? You know, for a talk show host, you're a terrible listener. Ooh, get him. <clears throat> yeah, can I get him? She's ready. Yeah, she's ready. <laughs> Look at her. You think everybody's gonna die? I don't know. Craig's definitely. Someone's dying. That, is that, is yeah, Mr. that magician guy. Yeah. Mr. Hag, he's dying. I know what we're doing, Sammy. Don't we, June? Jerry. <laughs> She's about to out everybody's secrets, watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know about Chris, too. It's that Mr. Riggles, isn't it? He's behind this whole thing. I am begging you to stop this before something terrible happens. He warned him. Something terrible's gonna happen. Mm hmm If I was there in the 70s, I'd be captivated right now. Like, glued <laughs> to the screen. I would've been one of those people like, Come on, June! Show us! Now, if the end itself in any number of ways... But it's ent Stop it. <laughs> Whatever you might see or hear, I ask you all to remain calm. The devil was pictured in Ohio. Send it to me, Rachel. <laughs> Send Close your eyes, Lily. Lily. Lily's gone. I speak to the one you know as Mr. Riggles. If Mr. Riggles... Quiet. Is it going to be Mr. Riggles or someone else? It's going to be somebody else. Please let yourself be known. You know who I am, Doctor. What have you done to me, Doctor? Who is this? Good to see you again, Jack. Sorry, I, I don't believe we've been acquainted. Don't be a fool. We go way back. Oh my we God! Amongst the tall trees. We met amongst the tall trees. You know what happened to his last door? She died an ugly, ugly death. So now you can screw her whatever you want, like Doctor June. Oh. Doctor June thinks you're very. Very That's enough. Jack and June went up the hill to fuck each other's brains off. What? That's enough! Oh my gosh. You know I can't help it. I know. I never Whoa. Vade retro Satan. Super. Oh my gosh. It's not working on them. How, How could you let it happen, happen Jack? Oh. Whoa. I'd be, I'd be running, running out, out the, the door. door. He said, nice to see you again, Jack. Like, that he had to have made a deal or something with... With the devil or something, yeah. We met amongst the tall trees, that grove. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, could we yeah. get a hand with yeah. these straps? Yeah, I got you. Wanna do that just yet? I knew that we were gonna see something amazing tonight, but we gotta get you guys back on as soon as possible. She's, like, actually scared, and he doesn't care. He's just worried about a show. All trees. What did she mean by that? I don't know. You tell me. Do you want to talk to the devil? Ah, oh, the mummy. I didn't like that. Leo should have cut the whole show right after Christu died. Bombed, you mean. Didn't you hear? Puked his guts out on the way to Sinai. We're on the home stretch. Are you starting to believe it now? After tonight, every fucking Fortune 500 will be lying. So up. far, this movie's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really like, mm -hmm. every, like everything about it. It's original. He's so good, too. See the dagger in his hand? Yeah. That girl's voice. I know. How did she do that? Yeah, but at the end, I mean, she sounded just like Minnie. You heard? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. You know what she did. If Minnie were here, she'd be saying, "You get out there, Mister Midnight. You knock him dead." Yeah, knock him dead. <laughs> Part of me is feeling like he sacrificed her. Or That's something. what I said earlier. Yeah, like he sacrificed her for fame or something. Yeah. She's all healed up. No cuts. <laughs> light and breezy. Keep it light and breezy, yo. Clearly, she has been placed in a hypnotic state and manipulated. This guy's an asshole. I know, he's like getting on my nerves. It feels like he's starting to. Yeah, the Christie believe. Thing. Yeah, like he's starting to believe. Levitated for God's sake. Granted, the stagecraft was impeccable. But I get it. You have to have a critic to make it more interesting. Like. Right. I'll need a volunteer. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Gus is like, I don't want to do this. My wife likes the way my head sits on my shoulders. I hope you're not planning to uh, make it spin. Oh, I plan to make everybody's head spin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah. Are we feeling comfortable? Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Your morbid fear of worms. They seem to thrive wherever it's dark and moist. The soil, the mud, the human body even. Disgusting. I can agree. I don't like worms either. <laughs> I don't mind them. Skin's itchy. <laughs> the heck? You're right, Gus. 
Yeah. <laughs> Just and worms. Imagining worms on me. Your neck. It's bleeding. What the hell? I did nick myself shaving earlier. Worms. No, 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 no. Give me worms. It's worms. I can feel them. They're inside me. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. The lily girl is laughing. I so silly. No. No. This wasn't meant to happen. What? Awake. How do you feel, Gus? Fine. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just like teleport? What the hell just happened? I did the exact same thing. Oh, he hip because he hypnotized all of us. Leo, um, can you get the guys up in videotape to play back that last bit? It's gonna look normal. Feels like something's crawling under your skin. It's hot in here. Yeah, that's wild. I did not hypnotize Lily or the studio audience or- Why didn't they play back her tape? If Mr. Haig thinks we're playing a trick on everyone, then maybe we should look back at that part of the show too, Jack. Yeah. Is she gonna say the words again and, and it's gonna it's trigger gonna come out. and she's not gonna be contained? Yeah. You say cameras don't lie, right, Carl? There must be some rational explanation. My F-15 may need to take these tapes in for forensic examination. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't believe we've been acquainted. Don't be a f Did you see that? Go. Minnie? What? You can spy with Chris too, to have him reach your dead wife, throw in a few Grand Guignol theatrics with these two, and then top it all off with some clever videotape manipulation. It's genius! Dude. She's electrified. Ooh. Don't know how I feel about that, but... <laughs> Whoa. Hello? What? Wait, is the devil really popping through the TV screens? What? What, what is happening? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the power. The mini. The mini gods. What? The show's back. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no. Abracadabra. That was wild. Station difficulty, something like that. He's imagining all of this. Relax. Jack is perfectly harmless. No. Ew. Ah! Ew. The giant owl. The night owls. The night owls. Didn't they? But you had to pay a price. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to turn out this way. You have to believe me. So, so he gave his soul to the devil. devil. Is that, that what it's saying? saying? Yeah, basically. And the, the repercussion was his wife getting cancer. Yeah. There has to be a balance. Please. She got lung cancer and never smoked anything. You remember they said that too? <laughs> what? Is she already dead? Dream her here. Awake. Dream her here. Alright. Yeah, it was really good. I yeah. liked it. Late night, dancing with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> dancing with the devil. It feels like there's gonna be another one. Like there's gonna be a sequel or a prequel. I don't know. No a sequel. I don't know. No. I yeah. hope they don't. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you hope they leave it alone. Yeah. Okay. Why? I just like it for what it was. Yeah. I don't think it needs anything more. I don't more. think it needs anything more. Also, David was this movie. Like, he was great. He was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, he was awesome the whole movie. I love how he can show every emotion on his face. Like, he did great. Exactly what I expected from him. Yeah, I just love the old style. Mm -hmm. And I love, like, everybody in the audience. Like, the old Halloween costumes. I love all of that. I love the fort. Like, it made me feel like we were the audience. Mm -hmm. and We were and... watching on a little TV. Uh-huh. Like, but... Yeah. And, and the quality you know kind of wasn't the best at times but that's mm -hmm. like they did that on purpose yeah they made you really feel like you were in this time with the way they talk 
talked, the jokes, the, the way the audience reacted to everything. Like, it just, it really felt like you were transported back into that time. Overall, I really liked the movie. The, the point where she kind of, like, turned into this fiery head and started killing everybody, I didn't really like that part. Like, or... You didn't like specifically what she was... Yeah. Like, how the, it was, like, this, like, portrayed, electric thing. Yeah, this electric being. Mm-hmm. B- but then at the end, I guess that kind of made me feel like maybe he was just imagining that, yeah. you know? Maybe he killed them all, or maybe she killed them all, yeah. and he killed her, and now the entity is passed on to him. Like, I don't know, just a few unanswered things at the end, but... It was original. Yeah, it was. I loved the late night talk show setting for this. Like, I agree with you in that. Like, that part was weird. I did like the kills, though. Yeah, the, the kills were great. The necklace, like, slit her throat. So, the one girl was creepy. Yeah, Lily. She was she Lily was, fun was out. She was great, too. Yeah. She was creeping me out the whole time. Oh, On a scale of one to five night owls. <laughs> what would you um, rate this movie? Like, four night owls. No, like four. I, four was I, a good rating. I give everything a good rating. I know, though. but did but, you like the movie? Yeah, no, I, I did like it. Other than the ending. The ending was just everywhere. And yeah. Just a few unanswered questions. Um, and I think that's kind of the point. Like, this is definitely a movie that you're going to want to watch again. I did really enjoy it, though. I would probably give it 3.5 to 4 Night Owls. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half to 4. <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie to watch for today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Highly right. horrified reactions, if you haven't put that together. <laughs> put that together, yeah. Highly horrified. Highly <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video. Bye, Night Owls. Peace.